Constellation Hunters! Tonight, we're going to find one of our North Circumpolar constellations, Draco the Dragon. It's one of five constellations we can see all year long from Minnesota. Now, there are a number of ways of finding it, but all involve star hopping. So grab your star map, your red flashlight, and your sketching gear, and let's go! From spring to late fall, one way to find Draco is to use the constellation of Hercules. Hercules has four stars to make up the keystone asterism, aka his torso. Then his arms and legs come spiraling out like he's doing a cartwheel. His east leg is stepping on the head of Draco. Another way to find Draco, no matter what time of year it is, is to look between Ursa Major and Ursa Minor. Draco can be found winding its way between the big and little bears, with its tail you a line that points from the Big Dipper to the North Star. But since it's summer, I'm going to find Draco a third way, using two stars of the Summer Triangle. Draw a line from Altair up through Vega, and continue another 15 degrees, and you'll see the stars Eltonin and Rastabin marking the head and eyes of Draco. From there, the rest of the dragon's head connects to the body through the star Grumium. The dragon's body then weaves around the big and little dippers, connecting the stars Altes, Zeta Draconis, Ada Draconis, Edisic, Thuban, and ending at Giausaw, between the Big Dipper and the North Star. Draco can be harder to find, since most of the body doesn't form a closed shape, but instead is a line of stars weaving between nearby constellations. A plus, though, is that it is visible all year long and isn't too far away from the big and little bears. We've now completed 10 constellations off the Constellation Hunter sketching list, and you're doing great! For those of you who are new to Constellation Hunters, check out our website for past videos and why you might be interested in sketching what you observe. Almost all of the constellations we've done so far are still visible in our sky. Just remember to grab a current star map as things have shifted west in the sky over the past few months. And this is all part of the Constellation Hunter program through the Astronomical League in partnership with the Minnesota Astronomical Society. I'll see you next time. Until then, happy stargazing!